so in this video I'm just watching um, the S meters really I've got dual watch turned on I've got um, tracking enabled um, and I've got the second the sub receiver um, is set to antenna 2 my vertical and the primary receiver is set to antenna 1 um, through the tuner and the amplifier um, and that's uh, my dipole um, and it's just interesting to see that uh, even though the vertical is not really built that well I just sort of whacked it together as a um, weekend project it's certainly not finished but uh, this station's a lot stronger on the on the vertical than they are on the um, on the dipole even though generally speaking the dipole is a much more efficient antenna so that was interesting unfortunately it does seem that um, a VK3OHM has gone QRT but uh, let's find out I suppose uh, well I'm almost knocking everything over here um, and uh, yeah, it's just some bad habits, but um, I need to update my logbook before I make a contact. All right, let's see. A VK3 OHM, this is VK3 Bravo Lima. Uh, VK3, uh, Bravo Lima. Yeah, VK3 OHM, this is VK3 uh, Bravo Lima. Uh, Jared in Ferntree Gully. And um, just heard you there, got a big signal on my vertical, so I, I'm getting you well on ground wave. And I just thought I'd come up and say hello. Um, you're about uh, 10 decibels over on uh, the vertical antenna and about 5 by 7 on the horizontal, um, the dipole. Back over to you um, there, Mark. Um, VK3 OHM portable from VK3 Bravo Lima. VK3 Just updating my log. Yeah, QSL. It's always uh, nice to, to finish it off. Um, I suppose, I don't know whether you get more nervous towards the end or to, towards the beginning, to be honest. Uh, I haven't tried it myself, but um, uh, I always think it's a bit of fun to work a pile up anyway. So, yeah, just uh, I'm transmitting on the dipole, so um, you'd probably have me a heck of a lot stronger running uh, um, QRP uh, if I was connected to the vertical and transmitting out of that, but uh, I'm not, so <laughs> this is what you've got, I suppose. Um, but, uh, yeah, I hope you're enjoying yourself. It's a lovely day for it. I'll say 73 for the moment, and uh, I don't know, maybe you'll move on to another park. I'm not sure. We'll find out. Uh, VK3 OHM Portable from VK3 Bravo Lima, saying 73. So hopefully you can hear them all right. Yeah, cheers, Mark. And uh, yeah, I, I would have thought for me the 30s as well would be a time I was getting anxious. Anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll leave you to it. And um, I think there might have been another station there, but uh, I couldn't tell you. Anyway, this is VK3 BL going clear from VK3 OHM um, portable. So there's a few things from that. Um, we'll turn the volume down a bit, but uh, as mentioned, um, Mark commented that I had him at a five and, or he had me at a five and seven, which is about what I had him on the um, on the dipole, um, which is what I was transmitting out of. So it was a Pretty reciprocal 5x7 when measured from that antenna but um, it was interesting looking at the second uh, the sub receiver with the vertical plugged into it it's just gone slightly off frequency there because I've, I've knocked the uh, RC28 um, but yeah Mark was a, a good 10 decibels over on the vertical so just goes to show you um, with the different propagation modes um, how much of a difference polarization can make and, and all those sort of things um, there you go there's another example he's probably about five over now and as, as opposed to um, you know just over seven so yeah there's a few ways you can look at that I, I had wanted to show you an earlier QSO they were having because 
the both stations were completely different on antennas, different antennas. But um, the other interesting way you can display this is over and under, um, which looks like that in a dual display. So that that's kind of nice. So yeah, I, I'm I'm really this is what's I've been really drawn to with this radio is just being able to listen to the two antennas and I guess you know really evaluate um, you know whether they're up to speed and that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, there's a few little traps, but um, we'll follow it up later. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go QIT from YouTube as well for the moment. I hope you enjoyed the video. This is Jared VK3BL saying goodbye.